Good morning. Welcome to St. Bernadette's Missionary Discipleship Family. Today we celebrate the Solemnity of Mary. We ask that you please silence your phone and prepare your heart to celebrate this sacred liturgy. As the loving, joyful, and thoughtful mother, Mary honored God's wondrous gifts in her heart. Our celebrant is Father Delphine. Please stand.
Let us pray. O oh God, grant me prayer that we may experience the intercession of her through whom we have found worthy to receive the altar of God and ever. Amen. That is all for the special intentions of Geoffrey and Maria and me and family, as well as for John and Madeline. This is how you shall bless the Israelites. Say to them, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you kindly and the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, when the fullness of time had come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law, to ransom those under the law, so that we might receive adoption as sons. As proof that you are sons, God sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, crying out, Abba, Father. So you are no longer a slave, but a son. And if a son, then also an heir through God. The word of the Lord.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to you. The shepherds went in haste to Bethlehem and found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known the message that had been told them about this child. All who heard it were amazed by what had been told them by the shepherds. And Mary kept all these things, reflecting, reflecting them on her inner heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, just as it had been told to them. When eight days were completed for his circumcision, he was named Jesus, the name given him by the angel, before he was conceived in the womb. The Gospel of the Lord. Today, January 1st, is truly a very significant day in our liturgical calendar. Every January 1st, let us remember that we celebrate three different occasions at the same time. Today, we celebrate three different occasions. First is what we have to be reminded that we celebrate that today, is the octave day of Christmas. Octave day. It's still Christmas day. So the celebration of the birth of the Savior. Is it important that we celebrate it for eight days from the January 25th until today? So it is still our celebration of the incarnation of the Son of God, our Savior. So it's a New Year's Day. The second one occasion that we celebrate is that the solemnity of Mary, the Mother of God. That every January 1st, we celebrate this feast day. The great day, the oldest feast day of the Blessed Virgin Mary. And it is to honor the dogma that she is the Mother of God. You know, there's a lot of title of Mary, right? But every January 1st, Mary, as the mother of God, we celebrate this feast day. And what do we mean of Mary as the mother of God? So it just means that Mary gave birth to Jesus Christ, and Jesus Christ is through both man, through man, and through God. And that is the reason why you have the so-called the humanity of Jesus and the divinity of Jesus through God and through man. So that is the meaning of this dogma of Mary as the mother of God. So this is the second celebration, this January 1st. And the third one is every January 1st, we celebrate the day of the world peace in the Catholic Church. World peace. So Jesus, our Savior, is the Prince of Peace. So He is coming. His coming is the coming of peace to humanity and creation. So that's how celebration brings to focus a very important truth and the reality of God's will for creation. So Jesus came in order to bring peace in order to bring us that peace, that peace only coming from Him. So, my dear sisters and brothers, you know, like Mary, we can ask, have we totally given ourselves to Jesus? Are our hearts holy for Jesus? Who among us has not experienced situations that were difficult to understand? that were difficult to comprehend? How then could we be like Mary? 
Just like in today's gospel as we heard, and Mary kept all these things reflecting on them in her heart. And those are the experience of Mary. The experience of Mary, the joys, the difficult situations of her life. All those things, Mary keeps all this in her heart. So with this, we can imitate or be like Mary through, as we experience, also like Mary, the pains, the sorrows, the sufferings in our life. We can be like Mary through three things. P-O-T. So the three values of Mary. And what is this P-O-T? Through prayer. P stands for prayer. You know, when times are difficult to understand, when times are difficult to comprehend, just like now, maybe at this point of time, there are situations in your life that is difficult to understand, that is difficult to comprehend. Remember, prayer is the most important. It is best to pour out our heart to God. Pour out to God everything that you experience. Not asking Him, why? Because usually that is our tendency. When we experience a lot of things, difficulties in, in life, hardships in life, we ask, why Lord, why? Don't ask why, but what? What, Lord, are you telling me in this situation? What, Lord? Just like Mary, she said, May your will be my will too. Pray. Give to the Lord through your prayer. Oh, like Mary, it stands for openness. With all what was going on Mary's life, she always remained open. That's why she said, Be it done to me according to your will. Not my will, but your will. So that is also an invitation for all of us that we have to remain open and let the will of God be upon us. We'll follow the will of God. Not what we want, not our own will. Be open like Mary. And T stands for trust. Nothing happens without a reason. Because of Mary's trust in God, she would eventually proclaim. You see? My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. So we have to trust Him also. To trust the Lord in every situation that we have. Give to the Lord everything. Trust Him. And that is why Mary kept all these things reflecting on them in her heart. So my dear sisters and brothers, as we begin and welcome 2023, we give our whole hearts to Jesus through Mary. Mary will be our star. Mary will be our mother, the mother of our lives, which will lead us to the full communion with her son, Jesus. So as we start this new year, we first thank God for 2022. There were ups and downs. When you recall 2022, many things are happening in your, in your life. Thank God for the 2022. There were joys. There were pains. Yet, there is so much to be grateful for. And the second one, like Mary, allow 2023, beginning today, start today, a year of prayer, a year of openness, a year of trust to the will of God amidst the many things that will happen to us. Knowing that some of them may be difficult for us to understand or to comprehend. Like Mary, we keep all the memories and experiences of 2022 in our hearts. And we base those 
our experiences that we learn from it. So, my dear sisters and brothers, as we welcome 2023, let us pray that like Mary, we may be open to God's grace. And let us look forward to what God has in store for us for this year, for that year 2022, a year of the Lord, the fullness of time. And to all of you, have a blessed New Year as well as to your family. Amen. Please rise and then profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father of God. Of all things, this is all that I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ. Don't be God and Son of God. Born of God and born of God. God from God, died from God. To God from God. To God and God from God. Was incarnate in the church of the earth and became. At this point of time, we ask everyone to please bow down. For our sin, who was crucified and the conscious body, he suffered death and he was buried. He rose again in the earth in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven. And they seated the right hand of the Father. With the common hand and glory to the church, the living of the dead. And the skin of the heart of God. And the name of the Holy Spirit, the Lord and Giver of God. Who proceeds from the Father and the Son. For the Father and the Son is adored and glorified. Has spoken to the prophets. I believe in the one holy, happy, and of the Son. I confess on God and seek for the forgiveness of sins. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and I the world to come. Amen. My dear sisters and brothers, we turn now to the God who intervened in Mary's life for the salvation of the world and we bring together our concerns and desires. For spiritual leaders who help us to recognize the signs of God in our midst, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For communities of faith who balance action of service with contemplation of God's presence in our lives, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For those who, like the shepherd in our gospel today, know that sharing the good news is needed in our world, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For a renewed appreciation for Mary's role as a full participant in God's promise to redeem the world, we pray to the Lord. Amen. For those who bear the burdens and needs our assistance, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the dearly departed, especially for Justine, Miguel, Logatak, Bill Highfield, and Mary. Pardon me, Maria Isabel Perez Messina, for whom this Mass is offered. May they rest in peace of the Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. In confidence, we lift our prayers to you, O God, knowing that you desire the salvation of all. We pray in the name of Jesus, your Son, our Savior of the world, our Messiah, the Lord. We ask this. Through Christ, our Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord, with the whole creation for the your goodness. We have received the wine we offer you. Through the divine and work of humanness, it will become our spirit of healing. Pray, brothers, sisters, and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O oh God, who in your kindness begin all good things and bring them to fulfillment, grant to us to find joy in the solemnity of the Holy Mother of God, that justice and glory in the beginnings of your grace. So one day, we may rejoice in its completion through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord our Father, Almighty and eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the solemnity of the motherhood of the blessed ever-Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, she conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal life, Jesus Christ our Lord. Truly, the angels praise your light, the minions adore and powers tremble for you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven, and the blessed seraphim, Worship together with exaltation. May our voices be praised, join with us in humble praise as we acclaim. In a similar way, his hour was ended. He took the chalice and giving the thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, 
take this, all of you, and drink it from you. For this is the choice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for me, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The miserable thing. I give 
Look not on our sins under the faith of your church, and graciously bind our prince and unity in accordance with your will. A living reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And let us offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. Peace of the Happy New Year, peace of the Happy New Year. an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you.
No last fruit. We have received this heavenly sacrament with joy, O Lord. Grant we pray that it may lead us to eternal life, for we rejoice to proclaim the blessed ever Virgin Mary, Mother of your Son, and Mother of the Church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for some of us. <coughs> The parish office will be closed Monday, January 2nd, but there will be an 8 a.m. Mass in the chapel. The men's group, please join Deacon Ben every Monday at 5 p.m. in the Monsignor Liam Moore Hall for scripture study. Legion of Mary. Join the Legion of Mary on Saturday, January 7th at 5 p.m. before the 5.30 Vigil Mass. Knights of Columbus. The Knights of Columbus will host their monthly breakfast next Sunday, January 8th. Join them in the Monsignor Liam Moore Hall after the 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. Masses. My dear sisters and brothers, as we welcome this 2023, I would like to thank all of you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for sharing your time, your treasure, your talent. You are so amazing because, you know, you're at St. Bernadette. I can see people, all of us as one family, sharing everything that you have. When St. Bernadette would ask something for the church, for the different ministries, you are always there to help, to give your helping hand, opening your heart you know, for the sake of our parish, because you know the need of our parish. So thank you so much. For all your support, your untiring help and support financially, even uh, morally, even your physically, everything you just want to give for the church. Because I know that you are happy serving and giving what you have in the church. So again, thank you so much. And uh, I would like also to thank the different ministries here in our parish. So now, let us join together, as I said in the introduction, Mother as our, Mary as our mother, we ask in our spiritual journey, we ask our mother to bless us and to guide us. So thank you to the different ministries of really giving your time, giving your time, you now by serving here in our parish for our lectors, the commentators, or the cantors, then the pianists, Anyone here, the sacristans, as well as the collectors and the ushers, all of you that are helping all the different ministries here in our parish, so amazing because you are really giving your time, your best in serving the Lord. Always thinking for the church and what the Lord wants really for our church. So from the bottom of my heart, I would like to thank all of you that I hope that as we journey together in this year 2023, we know our goal, we know our purpose. Let us just help one another as, as a family for the sake and for the good of St. Bernard's parishioners and our church. Again, thank you very much and Happy New Year to all of you. Please rise for our final blessing. The Lord be with you. Bow your hands and pray for God's blessings.
and the Almighty God bless you all. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our mass has been over. Go in peace and may be Manuel. God is with us. Together with our mother, may be your strength and comfort. Thanks be to God. Again, happy new year to all of you, as well as to your family, and enjoy your day.